Right now we are tracking the chance of some much needed rain across the valley. Right now let's take it over to meteorologist Andrew Chung in the Weather Center. Andrew, what should we be expecting tonight? Well, Taylor, overnight there is still a chance of some showers and thunderstorms, especially out west in the upper valley. A smaller rain chance for the lower valley. Let's take a look at the maps. We've been watching this line of thunderstorms all afternoon and evening heading southward. A look at Corpus Christi. They're getting pounded. They've been getting pounded by the showers and thunderstorms. One flood advisory well north of the viewing area. But you see a lot of red indicating heavy rain and also seeing a lot of lightning strikes this evening, as well as another batch of thunderstorms coming off the mountains of Mexico. A lot of lightning there off the mountains of Mexico trying to head uh, toward uh, the uh, border. We'll zoom in here and you'll notice this one batch of thunderstorms that is in eastern Zapata County. It is trying to get ever so close to Star County. So here's what we're looking at for tonight. Overnight, we're going to call for a 50% chance of thunderstorms in the upper valley, but just a 30% chance of some thunderstorms in the mid and lower valley. No severe weather is expected, but we cannot rule out some locally heavy rain. So again, 50% chance out west and a 30% chance of thunderstorms for the mid and lower valley. Look at the temperature, still quite warm everywhere. 84 degrees in McAllen, 83 in Edinburgh, Rio Grande City, Brownsville, 81 in Raymondville, 82 in Port Isabel. So here's the day planner forecast. Now for tomorrow, we're still going to leave in a 20% chance of some leftover showers or thunderstorms primarily in the morning. So if I were you, I would take the umbrellas just in case before school or work. There is that chance for some showers or thunderstorms at 8 a.m. with temperatures in the upper 70s. Just a slight chance of a shower at noon, 87. The temperature with mostly cloudy skies. Though we should see a bit more sunshine for the afternoon, so we'll call it partly sunny at 5 p.m. with a temperature of 90 degrees. Once again, here's a service map. One front is draped just south of Dallas, Fort Worth, extending into El Paso, stalled it over West Texas into New Mexico, but that front's not making it anywhere near the valley. And we've been seeing that line of showers and thunderstorms from Houston to Rio. This is all thanks to an upper disturbance moving through Texas. That's going to swing off to the northeast, but for tonight, there is a good possibility we'll see at least some showers and thunderstorms. I'm going to show you two forecast models here. Here's the first one on Future Track. And this model was backed off from a couple of hours ago. Earlier, it was going crazy. I think we'd see a a lot, but now it's calling for at least some thunderstorms in the upper and mid valley at one o'clock in the morning, and then perhaps toward the mid and lower valley by three o'clock and five o'clock in the morning. Then by 8 a.m. it uh, fires up some showers and thunderstorms for the lower valley and along the coast for the late morning, but it looks quieter for the afternoon. Here's the second model. Now this one has changed or updated, and it is more optimistic on showers and thunderstorms, especially for the upper mid valley, even before midnight tonight. Look at that, trying to push southward by 1 a.m. It thinks that by 1 o'clock and 3 o'clock, we could see some showers and thunderstorms into the mid and lower valley, trying to push off to the southeast. Then by 6 a.m., maybe a chance for some rain or thunderstorms uh, towards southern Cameron County. So with that in mind, that's where we're going to leave in at least a 50% chance of thunderstorms out west and a 30% chance of storms out east. Tomorrow, 20% percent chance of rain primarily in the morning, but it's dry Tuesday and Wednesday. Small craft should use caution overnight on the bay waters. We'll have winds that are the southeast at 10 to 20 knots. Bay waters and moderate chop in the seas are 3 to 7 feet. So again, a 50 percent chance of upper valley tonight, 30 percent mid and lower valley with lows in the mid 70s. Tomorrow, 20 percent chance of rain primarily in the morning. High temperatures still in the lower 90s. We should see some more sunshine by the afternoon. Here's that seven day forecast. Hope we see some rain tonight because it is pretty much dry for the rest of the week. Partly sunny Tuesday, and yes, the highs return to the mid-90s. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, look at that, mostly sunny skies for the second half of the week. And then the highs return to the upper 90s Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Morning lows in the lower 70s. Hope you all washed your cars. Hope we get to see the rain for tonight. That's your first one five forecast.